For almost a hundred years, steam held sway in Britain. And then, as part of the great modernization program, diesel began to take over in the early 1960s. The workshops at Swindon were faced with the urgent need to forget their past and begin again, almost from scratch. Mr. Ken Eburn is in charge of the new craft apprentice school. The kind of boys we pick for our course here at the apprentice training school is a boy of a good standard of education, um, an interest, an absorbing interest in the type of work with, in which we're engaged, um, to be a craftsman of the future with good opportunities opened up for him. We have had no difficulty in recruiting the type of boy uh, required, other than possibly the better type of boy to suit our advanced type of uh, training. There have been great technological changes within our industry in probably quite a short space of time. There will be undoubtedly uh, future uh, or great technological changes. Uh, these don't propose or present us with any problems uh, insofar as training is concerned. I suppose one could quote as an example that we uh, change from steam to diesel um, without any problems and whatever the technological changes of the future occur uh, again we have the availability and the facilities in our training structure to take care of any changes that may occur in the future. Uh, we help the boys in choosing uh, any particular trade because the trades of British Railways are so many and varied and to a boy just entering industry these are merely but a name they don't know the involvement of any particular craft or calling and it is rather unfair to expect a boy to pick a trade that he is going to do for the next 40 years probably that at this stage he doesn't know very much about our scheme is such that for the first part of the course, he basically has a go at most and many trades. Uh, on a second interview, then, after this period, he is in a far better position to uh, decide himself what he would like to do, what he would like to be uh, in his future career. In, in theory, the... Um, subsequent training and education that a boy receives, um, our scheme again is so fluid that whilst he may start off from rather lowly beginnings uh, by academic uh, movement qualification and training within the industry, uh, one could see that the, the ladder for advancement is there and um, well, possibly one could say that he may even become our future um, general manager or something like this. There are ten apprentice schools in the country. The boys enter the schools at about 16 and spend a year in craft training. They learn things of all the skills that are required on the railways. Although the main object of the training is to produce the future craftsmen of British Railways, the apprentice schools attempt more than that. Their aim is to make a boy a good citizen as well as a good craftsman. And one part of the course is devoted to subjects like first aid, industrial safety, fire precautions, law and local government. For the most part, the apprentices have come straight from school and are used to a good deal of physical exercise. As apprentices, they are given an hour in the gym each week to keep them in tune.